Welcome to the Leathercraft Library. My name is George Hurst. I would like to take this opportunity to talk to you a bit about setting up a Leathercraft workshop. To set up a workshop in your home, it's a good idea to have a good sturdy work table. Now I have that here and it's nice and flat. I also have a nice piece of granite here that's 12 by 24 and I have some rubber padding under that to deaden the sound. I also have lots of good light. Uh, good light is important if you can get to a window, that's great. Otherwise, fluorescent lighting is very, very good. Uh, I happen to be in a video studio, so my light is perfect. It's good to have a well-ventilated area as well. When you start working with cement, thighs and finishes, it's a good idea to have lots of ventilation. And also, it's a good idea to have a nice, comfortable chair at the right height for when you do your tooling. Before we can start doing uh, leather carving, we normally have to do some tracing. And what you'll need for tracing is uh, some tracing film, pencil, tracing stylus, ballpoint pen. It's a good idea to have some... Uh, clear tape, and also uh, some cement and some cardboard to glue your uh, project for tooling. Here are some items that are necessary to uh, help you make your own things. Uh, you need a straight edge, of course, and uh, a shears. Notice here I've got a, a polyethylene cutting board as well. You'll need a, an assortment of punches, an edge beveler for belts and other things like that, and an edge slicker. You'll also need a skiving knife, an awl, several punches for uh, lacing, and a cutting knife. Here are the ideal things you're going to need for tooling. One is a good piece of marble for a tooling surface. Uh, two is a water dish, either plastic or glass, no metal, a nice clean sponge and clean water. But also nice to have an assortment of modeling tools. And of course, you're going to need a swivel knife or two. I prefer to use a maul like you see here for my stamping. And of course, a wing divider is pretty important to have around. Also, an assortment of stamping tools of your choice. To do dyeing and finishing, here are a few items that will be very helpful. Number one, you'll notice I have on top of my marble here uh, some brown packing paper. This is to keep any spillage off the, off the marble. Uh, I also have uh, some soft cloth, mainly cotton. I have some dye brushes, some daubers, a sponge, some pieces of sheep wool scrap, and the dyes and finishes of my choice. Something else that you should probably have in your shop is a first aid kit, or at least some first aid supplies just in case you have an accident. 